Hello Twin Flames and welcome to this reading. So this is going to be a reading for Twin Flames in separation. So if you're in separation right now or even if you are communicating but you feel that you're in some form of separation. So if you would class yourself as being in separation then this reading is for you. So thank you for being here and if you are new to the channel welcome, subscribe, join our family because we're here for you every day. So in the energy of today's Twin Flame reading, the daily angel message that came through, the masculines are really thinking about what they've done to the divine feminine. They're asking you for more time. They're asking you to trust that they will find their way. And they really know in their heart and soul that you are the one. They've got an inkling of what Twin Flames is, but they certainly understand you share a soul connection. And, you know, they're being magnetically pulled to you. And it's inevitable until you come back into communication or reunion to lead you towards the future where you've got that beautiful relationship with union ahead. So we're going to use two decks of cards. This is a new one. This is a journey into the hidden realm. And we want to really find out what's hiding, what's going on. And we're going to bring in the realms Mercury edition too to really see, you know, to feel the energy. So I've just done a similar reading to this for twins in communication, but this is now for twins in separation. If I'm guided to any more cards, I will put them in, but we're going to do a simple spread. So let's see what the energy is around you. So what the twin flames, please, angels in separation, what's the energy around you? I feel it's that one. The energy around your person, okay, the energy around them. Okay, so that's what you're currently envisioning or going through. And what's happening now? For you okay and for them thank you and then what's the action step or the energy coming in you know what are they learning or what are you learning so what's the action that's taking place and for them what's going on i feel it's that one and what's the outcome there we go what's the outcome what two cards for the outcome so i'm also going to use one of these so what do we need to know please angels for now thank you two cards what's the action step the action step what energy is in there now? I feel it's okay. There's two cards. I'm going to put them there. And the outcome. There it is. Okay. So let's see what's happening then. So for you right now, we've got the Ace of Cups. Wow. And this is really powerful because, you know, I love this card. For one, this card came out in today's Daily Twin Flame reading, but it shows strength and power. You know, the Ace of Cups is about building a new relationship, building a foundation you know, being open to the newness of what's to come. And this also signifies June because, you know, June is a time where, you know, it's halfway through the year, there's a rebirth coming in, you know, we've got the summer solstice energy, but this is you now as we're moving into June, standing tall. So the separation is making you stronger and that's exactly what happens. Your separation heals. You know, I've done three series in the playlist about separation. I've done a Find Your Way to Union series that talks about everything. Then I've done a Separation Heal series from the feminine perspective and a Divine Masculine Journey to Union series from the masculine perspective. And everything is about healing and growth and confidence and power. And this is where you are. So you're currently standing strong, feeling better, feeling tall. Even if you go through moments of pain, struggle, doubt, illusion, you're still feeling better than you were when you were struggling, you know? So separation has grown you. It's made you stronger, more powerful, and more ready to embrace what's coming next, this newness of the rebirth of the connection. So your person, we've got the star, wow. And I'm seeing this as somebody who's been doing a lot of growing up. You know, you can see there it's childlike energy. So your person has been growing up. This is about your person looking for the beauty in life and understanding things on a much deeper level, going through a divine transformation, a healing. You can see the butterfly there. So I feel this is a big sign that in the separation, you know, your masculine has been kind of, understanding on a deeper level, transforming on a deeper level, a lot about spiritual truth, healing, growth, you know, definitely spiritual growth and spiritually growing up in the physical too. So also, you know, if there's a um, age gap, you know, if your masculine is the younger one, then this is about their maturity as well on their physical path. So it could be about, you know, what they've been experiencing, especially through the lockdown and there's been a lot of changes happening. So they've been doing a lot of growing up. So this is definitely spiritual growth and 
physical growth too you know understanding things more transforming realizing and the energy is i don't know who i am anymore very powerful so obviously you know during separation the masculines don't know who they are anymore because they change they grow up you know they find themselves they realize they're not the same person they were and you do that to them you know you trigger their spiritual awakening that's why you come into their life so they are saying you know i just don't know who i am anymore who am i so they're looking in the mirror they're analyzing themselves they're analyzing their life they're renewing it by reviewing so they're reviewing their life and their journey and they are starting to change. So they're saying, I just don't know who I am anymore. And you, Divine Feminine, are becoming super strong because, you know, you're not the person you were either. You're both different now. You've both changed. You've become a greater version of yourself. So the energy around you right now, we've got the Six of Cups. So this is about you raising your vibration seeing through the illusion healing the past so i feel you've been letting go of the pain the struggle any hurt anything that's happened you know you're rising up so you're coming out of the darkness and on this journey sometimes we feel dragged down we feel you know kind of bombarded with negativity and fear and you know oh and this is about you rising yourself out of any fear so you're stepping out of the darkness and you're stronger you know, you're almost there. So this is showing you've been going through a deep cleanse, a deep healing, you know, like a rebirth energy. I feel a lot of cleansing energy in this card too. Finding yourself digging deep, your third eye's been opening, you've been becoming more spiritual, you know, more tapped in with who you are. So that's what you've been learning through this um, separation, which is also about standing strong. And what's your person been learning? Wow, look at this, solutions. And I love this because it's the Ace of Wands and action. Okay, so your person has been working out who they truly are, finding a solution. The fox is very cunning. You know, the fox finds solutions. The fox finds direction. The fox will find a way. And right now he's thinking about opening up the doors of communication. So he's working out what to do. He's finding a solution. So this is showing you you've been going through a very deep cleansing and deep healing, releasing the past, you know, maybe being nostalgic or thinking about the past or going over it all. But he's determined to work on the future. So it feels like in separation here, feminine, you've been healing the past and working through the past. And the masculine is very focused on the now and what's coming next. So solutions, you know, and they show me these green kind of um, entwined branches or, you know, it's like a portal or a door opening. You know, things are changing, things are happening. There's a lot of healing energy there. And we've got, you do know best. So it's like in separation, what he's realized is that you know best, that you are the wise one, that you understand that everything you did and said was actually right. So he's coming to conclusions about a lot of things. He's realizing a lot of things because he's becoming the fox. He's becoming intuitive and, you know, he's being given direction. So this is about direction flowing into your twin. The action that's coming in or what can help you is the nine of pentacles. So feminines, you know, what the, the angels are saying here is work on self. And that's what we do anyway in separation. We learn to trust ourselves, to love ourselves. We learn, you know, to work on our goals and dreams and live our bliss and be happy and, you know, follow what makes our heart sing. So we realize that it's better in separation to give back to ourself than try and keep giving to our twin. And they're giving me fear. Thank you, angel. So this is also about releasing the fear. We've got the beautiful Robin there. And that's signifying loved ones around you, angelic guides, you know, support. This is about the signs, the synchronicities, things that you're shown, things you experience, things you go through, finding your way, you know, stepping into your power. The Nine of Pentacles is one of the most beautiful cards in the tarot, you know. It's all about enjoying living life, enjoying being you. And that's what we do. We learn to accept, we learn to grow, we learn to heal. And for the masculine, what action or what's helping them? Wow, we've got the Knight of Cups. So sitting there, contemplating, thinking about you in their emotion. So they fully intend to take action. So I love this because for the feminine point of view, this is all about a deep healing and a cleansing and a releasing and a trusting and a knowingness of what this is. And for the masculine, it's all about deep healing, growth and understanding to take action. So again, this is an action card. 
you know, this is showing you they are working out what to do. He's looking at that cup there. He wants it filling up. And you fill up his cup. So he wants to make his life more enriched, more powerful. He wants to express his emotion. He's working out what to say. It's like he's thirsty for you. You know, he's thirsty for you. He wants you. He wants to show you how he feels. And we've got here text message. Wow. So it may come in the form of a text message. So a text message can take many forms, you know, it, but it's going to be text. So rather than a phone call, you know, you may receive um, an actual text on your phone. You may receive an email. You may receive something through social media. It's going to be a written message. So I feel is because you're doing you and you're, you know, you've released all the pressure. You're working on self. You're feeling good. He wants to take action to you and he wants to reach out by a text message. And the outcome, we've got the five of cups. So this is releasing the need for it now, you know, releasing the lack. And I feel this is what we go through, you know, as a divine feminine. You know, we want it now. We want it our way. We expect it away in a certain way. You know, we get very frustrated when it doesn't go our way. And we're releasing all of that. And this is also about your person missing you, the masculine wanting the feminine, feeling that they're missing out on something, that something is missing in their life. And that's you. And we've got the Queen of Pentacles. So you're going to feel strong and powerful. This is about you stepping into your power, knowing yourself. They're very tempted by you. So whatever happens, it's going to be powerful for you. You know, you're going to stand in your power. You're very focused, determined. And they see you as this powerful being of light, someone who's got it under control, everything they want. And I fear a relationship with you. This is really powerful. I have to say this because this card came out for twins in, in, uh, in communication. So, you know, this is what is actually going on, okay? This isn't because you know, they, they don't want to be with you. This is the truth. I fear a relationship with you because I don't want it to be another failed relationship. So they want it forever, just like you do. And they don't want to mess it up, just like you don't. So this is why it's taking time. This is why it takes planning and plotting and solutions and decisions to take that action step, to send that text because they don't want to mess it up. And neither of you want to fail in this relationship. You know, neither of you want to go back into separation when you come into communication. You know, neither of you want to be together and then split up. You want this to be forever. So, you know, it's taking time. That's why it does take time to not, you know, rush it and mess it up. So it's just the fear of, you know, not, not being in another failed relationship. So give it the time it needs. That text message is coming that's going to open the doors of love. I hope this helps. Have a great day. Sending you so much love and I'll see you soon.